Guys, David here from Gaming Girls Gaming, and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you my fan made TARDIS console room. You probably can't see because it's that dark in my room, and it probably might be different for you on this camera screen. But also, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications so you can get notified by my future videos. Now, without further ado, let's get into it. Now, this is a custom design TARDIS, if I, and I would like this to be in the TARDIS, uh, if I was a doctor, this would be my TARDIS room. So when these buttons actually go out when you use this, like, you just, well, they got from, um, Firework Night. <laughs> Start with the simple basics. You've got the dematerialization switch. I'll just show you here, for example. It actually pulls down. And also, this button actually works, so if I pull that down, and push this button, Actually, this is actually from the TARDIS console room from over here. I just took it out to use the piece for the time motor. <laughs> so I've just got this cold coming on. Then you got the um, switches. Don't know what this this one's for the um, handbrake or just to like keep the tires still in place. Then you got this one over here, which is to like I don't know, like open up the tires screen or unlock the doors. I forgot. This little knob here is um, just a gyroscopic stabilizer which stabilizes the TARDIS during flight. The fuel meter actually glows up so it lets me know that I'm at full oxygen energy power. Just random buttons. The prime takeoff lever so you go to take the turn to turn the um, TARDIS off. The door locking mechanism. Then you got just random like this bit's here so that the wires connection to TARDIS console room to the main time rotor and you got a tuner which helps with the radio some kind of tape and recorder you probably can't see but that button there that's to turn on the um overhead projector which would be up here and sorry if it was over here and um this this part of the console room this is like a tuner to um to dial like or use an SOS. These just glow up whenever I'm using too much energy, or just use like standby mode. More, f more um, buttons and stuff and chains. Then you got like the valve inlet switch uh, mechanism, which I call it. It so chooses like oxygen energy usage or um, time travel usage. I always flip it up because that one wastes more energy. This one is to prime take off more and keep more safer. This one's to make it more bumpy and more quick and emergency. This is the vortex lever. Basically, you had to like pull that down in order to go to the vortex, and if you want to take off. Then you got the power switch. Very basic, I know, but it actually kind of glows if you point at it. <clears throat> then you got this over here. And sorry about the sounds in the background. They're just my um. My two big sisters singing, and she has a friend around. Then you got like this switch, which turns on the um scanner, which can also be seen here or over here. Yeah, I was eating food up here and on. You got Bindi over there. Also, I've got Vinny up here, which I'm working on, and Akawaki from Crash Bandicoot. Looks looks pretty cool, if I do say so myself. You got Vinny. Looks pretty cool. And don't judge me because I like my little pony. And then this is be be the screen. And that that is Jody Wicker's TARDIS. Also would be my TARDIS from like a custom adventure in my imagination. But this one would be my main one, which is the TARDIS from nineteen ninety six. That's my name in Gallifrey in um writing, as you can see there. Then you got the TARDIS screen of where I'm wanting to go. And then um Move on to here, we got these little switches. If you can see, hang on. Then you got this, one of the switches here. It's like tune, like fly, use less consumage of time, energy. Turn on the cloister bell, that one. Then you got little buttons and switches, which are just little like glowing pieces that have an individual glowing color. Love that effect. Look at that. Isn't that cool? 
And then you got the tire screen, which is just, just a bit of cardboard. And this bit actually works. So, like one of those like SOS like type things that go do 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 like that. Probably the sound effects. I probably have done it already though. I normally have the time rotor up like that so that it looks more better. But from the camera view, it looks like it's flickering, but it's not. But the way the camera view looks from here, it's different. Also, if I choose to have like something different, I can use like to have a time rotor like this if I'm wanting to go like old school, you know? Like, if I put this down for a second, you see, this would like, if I show you here. This would actually go um up and down if you can actually see if I turn that off. Don't think you can, but this would go up. That'd be my secondary time rotor if I was to have like invented by myself. And um this is my um certificates and the roundels and stuff. Then you got um the TARDIS doors. I just gonna head outside quickly. And then you got Then you got my TARDIS bedroom door. Which looks pretty cool. Oh hello Moogie. Hello Moogie. Okay. So basically that pretty much wraps up my um TARDIS console room tour. And if you liked it, please make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications so you'll be notified by any of future, my future videos. And with that being said, I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.